my name is Rohit Kumar and I am the joint coordinator for storytelling English and Malayalam that was connected for the sub junior and junior category. We had more than 200 participants who took part in storytelling and every video that was submitted to us was of high quality and the judges had tough time. It's all up to them now to select a winner and I would like to thank every single child for taking part in the storytelling competition. Thank you so much for your participation and all the best. Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Saju Vargis. I'm a teacher. I'm really excited to be part of World Malayali Council's One First Online Competitions. My sincere appreciation to the organizers for giving opportunity to many around the world to untap their potential. All the very best to the contestants too. Thank you. WMC One Fest is a pride, joy, culture and love. This year marks the 25th anniversary and we celebrated it with a grand youth festival. We had various events and I wish grand success and joy to all the contestants and people around here who visited us. The world is not made of atoms. The world is made of stories. It's not magic that takes us to another world, it's stories and storytelling. This year's youth festival, we had various events and storytelling was one of them, where tiny thoughts and little children gave us a grand gesture by their storytelling. This year's storytelling event winner is... Under your shade to build my heart, the people tree refused to say, No, I'm not going to give you permission. You're going to disturb me the whole day. The queen with the disappointment went to the mango tree and asked him for permission. Please, mango tree, can I make my hive under your shed? The mango tree was kind and sweet, just like his roots. He agreed to give permission to the queen. They all lived happily till one day a woodcutter came into the woods. The woodcutter first wanted to cut the mango tree, but then he saw the beehive and decided not to cut it. He then decided to cut the people tree. As he was trying to cut the people tree, the people tree cried for help. Help! Help! to shut and bolt the door and windows of his house. At night, he would say his prayers and go to bed. He enjoyed sound sleep all through the night. But the rich man was full of worries. He could neither sing nor smile. He always shut and bolted each and every door and windows of his house at night. Goldilocks learns a lesson. Goldilocks was a pretty little girl with curly brown hair. However, her behavior wasn't as pretty as she is. Goldilocks had his bad habit of going to other houses without permission and treating them as her own. Her parents have reminded her on many occasions to talk about her bad habit. Her father would say, Goldilocks, you mustn't enter other houses without permission. It is wrong. And her mother would say, if you don't respect other others' belongings, you will get in trouble one day. Oh, come on, mom, dad, don't worry too much. I usually leave before the house owners come home, replied Goldilocks. One day, Goldilocks went for a walk in the forest. Pretty soon, she reached a corner house. The door was in lock and nobody was around, so she went right in. On the floor of the living room, 